Fleming's right hand rule shows the direction of induced current when a conductor moves in a magnetic field. It can be used to determine the direction of current in a generator's windings. When a conductor such as a wire attached to a circuit moves through a magnetic field, an electric current is induced in the wire due to Faraday's law of induction. The current in the wire can have two possible directions. Fleming's right hand rule gives which direction the current flows. The right hand is held with the thumb, first finger and second finger mutually perpendicular to each other, as shown in the diagram. The thumb is pointed in the direction of motion of the conductor. The first finger is pointed in the direction of the magnetic field. Then the second finger represents the direction of the induced or generated current. The bolded letters in the directions above give a mnemonic way to remember the order. Another mnemonic for remembering the rule is the initialism FBI, standing for force, B the symbol for the magnetic field, and I the symbol for current. The subsequent letters correspond to subsequent fingers, counting from the top. Thumb F. First finger B. Second finger I. There is also a Fleming's left hand rule. The appropriately handed rule can be recalled from the letter G, which is in right, and generator. These mnemonics are named after British engineer John Ambrose Fleming, who invented them. See also, Fleming's left hand rule for motors, right hand grip rule, Faraday's law of induction, FBI mnemonics. External links, diagrams at magnet.fsu.edu, diagram and interactive exercises.